So what kind of gift do you want angels to bring to you? Hmm, let's talk about that. Shoes, not a sponsor. Yeah. Good morning, beautiful people, on this lovely Tuesday morning with my cat running around like a devil. Anyway, so, what kind of angel do you want to bring a message to you or a gift to you? What kind of angel? There's many angels in the Bible. Your question was what kind of gift do you want the angel to bring you? Well, what kind of gift do you want the angel to bring you? Yeah, you said, <laughs> I was going to actually say a song. Oh, yes, this is a song that I'm talking about. I, I thought Very it might be. Very good, Katie. So, uh, songs, like everywhere you go, songs are playing. Like music's playing in the background, music's playing here, there, everywhere, especially at Christmas. You know why? Well, because it calms you down? Yeah, psychologically. Yeah, because how awkward is it when you walk somewhere and there's no music? You, right. you know right away when there's no music. When happening. you hit that wall, there's no music and it's, it's like, just really whoa. weird. Or restaurants with no music and all you hear is chatter. Yeah, it's weird. That's, mm, that's not good. Uh, especially the the biggest culprit of that is Boscov's. You ever been to Boscov's? Bosco that's a southern thing. Boscov's has music playing, like almost blaring, and then they have this glass ceiling. No, it's not. It's a mirror ceiling. Mi mirror ceiling, and it's just really weird. But anyway, you buy more. It has been proven you buy more with calming music. Huh. And why do you think there's music I in elevators? The students will do more work if there's calming music playing. Yes. Ooh. It's been proven fact that music will soothe the soul, or music can turn you into a beast. I mean, just uh, listen to some of the music I used to listen to as a teenager. All the heavy metal, rock and roll, screaming, head banging. Yeah. I was angry about everything. But anyway, so this is a song that Isaiah has. Uh, my mom uh, sent me these lovely devotionals, I guess, with calendar. So thanks, mom. Shout out to my mom. And one of the scriptures is Isaiah chapter 6, verse 3. And just think of this. There's there's all kinds of angels in the Bible. There's uh, angels that guard you. There's angels that came and gave messages to humans. There was angels that were around the throne of God in Revelation. There was angels that were created just for specific purposes. And then there's angels with all wings. And there's angels that are all eyeballs. And there are angels with uh, different kinds of animal heads. There's all kinds of angels. So some of these angels are not like the ones we have, you know, in your house that are all beautiful and lovely and stuff. These angels were uh, quite the scene to see. And these, the angels, the seraphim and the cherubim, which are the ones with all the wings and all the eyeballs, were around the throne. And Isaiah saw this and th they were singing this. Ready? And they were calling to one another, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. The whole earth is full of his glory. Now, what does holy mean? Holy is a fancy word that says different, set aside, set aside for a purpose, uh, you know, blameless. And so they were calling to God saying, you are blameless, you are holy, you are righteous, you are set apart for a purpose, you are wonderful and majestic. And so they were singing this song, all these angels with these wings and all these eyeballs. <clears throat> and then it says, the earth is full of your glory. I mean, just think of the wonderful, beautiful, majestic earth and everything that God has given us. And so the angels were, were giving a gift of praise to God and also telling us that there's a gift of the earth. I mean, the earth is gorgeous. Um, we've been watching this show called, what was it called last night? The Wheel of Time. Yeah. And, I mean, it's based in Eastern religion, and we don't believe that, but it's a good fantasy story. But uh, The Wheel of Time uh, was filmed in the Czech Republic. And breathtaking, breathtaking views of mountains, of trees, of forest. And, and I'm like, I'm just praising God for the beauty that he's given us. And just think, these angels uh, are constantly singing, holy, holy, holy. Uh, Lord God Almighty, the earth is filled with his glory. And it's just, I don't know, it's a wonderful scripture to just say, in the presence of God, in the presence of the Almighty, um, that's the greatest gift, I think, that we can get uh, this Christmas. Um, 
I know, we're talking about Christmas, Thanksgiving's not even here yet, blah, blah, blah. We got a couple days. I know, that's true, that's true. But I just wanted to let you know that, um, you know, God is holy and the earth is wonderful and beautiful, just enjoy it. So your challenge for today is how can you enjoy the gift of the earth today? I love you, Jesus loves you too, you have a great Tuesday, and bye-bye for now.